August, my mom showed me a video that she saw on Facebook because she thought that I would relate to it. And I did. That night, I found my role model. She made a difference in the world by learning and teaching about the environment. Here is what I like it the most. She started doing this when she was nine years old. At the time, I was nine years old too. And I'm ten now. I'm sitting here backstage at Roy Thompson Hall with my role model, Severin Carlos Suzuki. Severin, I'm so happy to meet you in, in person today. Thank you for th taking the time to talk with me before you get on stage tonight with your dad, David Suzuki. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be meeting you, Hannah. This is really special. You are such an inspiration to me. Thank you. Wow. You were only 12 years old when you spoke at the UN. How did it feel? It was one of the most intense experiences of my life. So you were nervous? I was, I was nervous, but I wasn't like scared. I had been working to do that speech for two weeks since we'd arrived at their summit at the conference in Rio. When we first arrived, we were nobodies. We didn't have any contacts. We didn't have any way of getting our message out. And gradually, over the two weeks we worked, we. Um, got to the different little venues, side events, and spoke five minutes here, five minutes there, and gradually people started hearing about us to the point where on the last day of the conference, we finally got an invite to, to address the world representatives. And so we've been building to this moment in the hopes it would happen, and when it did, I knew exactly what I was going to say. And, they cho and your friends chose you. We decided that my speech was the most comprehensive, and... You know, it was my vision. It was this dream that I had that we made happen together and we compiled all of, of the relevant, um, you know, all of our messages together in my speech. And then, yeah, we, we decided that I would, I would give it. And you're known the girl who silenced the world for five minutes. That's pretty and cool. And you were heard by, and you were heard by the whole world and it, soon everybody heard it. And it went on YouTube and everywhere. It's really amazing because I mean, when I gave that speech, it was 20 years ago, so YouTube wasn't invented then, which is so crazy to imagine now. And then after several years, then somehow it got online, and then it experienced like a second life, because suddenly it went around the world, and millions of people have seen it. So to me, what that story tells is how people really need to hear from the voice of young people. People want to hear from children. They want to they want to hear the truth. And I think that children can see and speak the truth in a way that nobody else can. Because you have your whole life ahead of you and what is happening right now, what we're doing to the planet, is ultimately going to affect the rest of your life. You have everything at stake. And so essentially you're the one who can ask adults to think about this and to think about you when they're making their decisions, when they're living their life. And we need to ask for change. You definitely got the message out to me. Thank you. I write about the environment and being eco-friendly on my blog. In the fall, I launched We Create Change, a campaign of Free the Children to collect pennies with the goal to provide clean water for 100,000 people in Africa. I also joined the Great Canadian Shoreline Cleanup in my neighborhood. Only five people showed up. But we still collected more than 10 huge bags full of garbage. Way to go. Thank you. Even though not a lot of people came to help, I still feel really good about, about it. Absolutely. I think that's great because you can see those are, five, are 10 big bunches of garbage that would just be on the beach if it weren't for you guys. And that shows how five people can have a big, real difference. And only, and only four people, they made a big difference. Exactly. My question for you is, how can I motivate people to join my causes? Well, that's a good question, and I think that you, just by what you're doing, you're, you're, you've answered it, and that's by your actions. I've been trying to do exactly that, motivate people to try to help the environment, and it's, it's hard, because, I mean, we're dealing with living in a world where basically everything that we do is not good for the environment. So we have to change so many things. And I found, you know, one of the most powerful things is um, 
to do it yourself and to to lead by example and show that it's you know not a big chore it can be enjoyable it's something you can do with friends something you can learn about you can have incredible experiences i mean my life is so much more interesting because i followed my passion and my passion is to help the environment and you know it's been a wonderful opportunity um, for for me to live, lead an interesting life and i mean already you're showing the same thing you're choosing to tr engage with what you're in, what you're passionate about and look at all the opportunities you're already getting so you know just continue doing what you what you love and i think that will help motivate others to do what they love and ultimately make a difference in the world and that worked for you i'm guessing it still is working for me If you could give advice to your nine-year-old self, or me, what would it be? Oh, that's a tough question, Hannah. I chose him because... You sure did. I chose him. I think that my advice to you is to simply follow your heart. I think that one of the most powerful things that you have, you, Hannah, as an individual, but a lot of young people, a lot of children, is the power of your heart, is that desire to help the world to make a difference. I think as you get older, a lot of people lose that. A lot of people think that it's too hard, or I'm just one person, or all of these reasons that I think society can tell you not to even try. And, you know, if you don't try, of course you won't achieve what you hope. And what I found in my life is that when you follow your passion, amazing things happen. What I say on my blog is little things add up to make a big difference in the world. Um, and you think that's true? Absolutely. I remember, you know, my whole life I'd heard this saying, um, I think my dad often said, oh, don't forget about that. It's just a drop in the bucket. It doesn't make a difference. And then I was up at, we have a cabin. Um, on Quadra Island and there was a drought that summer and so we had to go really easy on using the water because there was just not very much water in the well and um, we at the same time did, got a leak in the sink in the faucet and so you know you could hear this drip 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 and it was like really bad because we needed to save every drop of water so I put a bucket under the sink and um, I turned around and the bucket was full I couldn't believe it and I had to turn, change it for another bucket and, you know, before I knew it, that second bucket was full. And I, I just had this, this realization, this realization that that's this whole time I thought just a drop in the bucket means it's not very much. But then I realized that all the drops in the bucket, if it happens consistently again and again and again, pretty quick it becomes a bucket full. And if we all keep putting in those drops, pretty soon we'll have a full bucket and that bucket will begin to be the tide of change. I realize that, you know, all those little efforts, that is what it's going to take. And that's why people, you know, it's hard for people to understand because they want a big solution. They want a silver bullet that'll fix everything. But that's not how it's going to be. It's going to be little actions by you, by me, by everybody we know. Thank you. Again, thanks for taking the time to talk with me. Thank you also for setting an example for me and other young activists. Because of you, I know that you are never too young to change the world. Right on! That's so awesome. Thank you.